Welcome guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to deadlift like a champion. I cannot wait to show you the right technique to deadlift 501 kilograms. If you simply just follow the rules that I'm going to teach you right now, you will deadlift 501 kilograms in three months. Just follow these rules and you will break my world record. No! You th oh, just messing around guys, that will never happen. But anyways, today I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna show you guys how to deadlift, what I find works for me, and hopefully along the way I can teach you guys a few tips. First tip, before I press the bar, I wanna make sure that I place my fingers evenly both in, in the right position. A lot of you probably know this, but I'm gonna give you guys tips that I like to do each and every deadlift session. I like to use my cutting uh, finger, so I place it here. I use this for a preference. A lot of you guys might wanna use different fingers, but I like to use this finger. So I place this finger on this, same to this one here. Grab the bar, and that's tip number one. I'm gonna lift, lift this though. So put some more weights on. Tip number two, always think about your foot placement. I like to have my foot placement uh, roughly shoulder width. Um, that's what I usually recommend for people. I honestly have it slightly more. I like wide stance, that's my preference. Uh, but just make sure that you um, have your toes slightly outwards rather than inwards. So, not like straight forward, but like slightly outwards. Then you grab the bar. And here guys, I'll give you two tips this, this set. Here I'm using um, straps. Here I do the same thing as on the fingers, except I try to measure it with my strap. So here, I'll look at this. So, I strap here. Here the same thing, put my strap around that. Uh, then I sometimes put my fingers even here, look, to see if I'm holding, I can try to measure if I'm holding correctly. I might adjust a little bit if I feel like that hand is more to the right or left. All right, then feet positions are great, hand positions is great, we get going. Timer. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can jump rope for one minute straight without failing. You guys ready? One minute straight. Before all my processes, I do this three times as a warm up for two minutes. And in the beginning of my boxing, I had a very hard time doing this because my calves and my weight. Now I'm obviously weighing much less. Should we check how much I weigh? Both the weight one fifty-seven point. Three. King ladder. <laughs> That's so light. Huh? Smile. That's so light. You've lost pretty much as much weight as a small person. <laughs> Seriously though. Seriously, like, 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 like a small, small person always. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tip number three. 
I always recommend using a good belt. Uh, I use a belt from SPD. Uh, of course, it's also great to not use a belt to strengthen your core, but I've always made sure to use a belt to make sure that my lower back and back doesn't get injured. My whole career, a lot of people are surprised that, uh, that my whole career I never got any back problems. And I never have, never, ever, any back, back problems. And I truly believe that the reason obviously is the right technique, deadlifting correctly, uh, learning the right way, but I didn't learn when I first started, my technique was awful. And there's actually a video out there that you guys can see that my technique was bad. But, you know, over the years I was able to find the right technique for me and a good technique that works and is good for the back. So yeah, tip number three, get yourself a good belt. If you don't have a good belt so far, I recommend that you guys invest in a good one because this, this a belt like this is a lifetime Purchase this. This will last you a lifetime. Uh, if you buy one one good belt for us, SPD, it, it should last you a lifetime. Seriously, like I had a belt that I just gave away. I used that belt my whole career almost. You can see that. Like I, I, I trained a lot every single day, and I competed a lot, and it, it was still in fine fine conditions. So that was a tip number three. Yeah. giving you guys this tip because I've seen this a lot online where people sometimes forget to use the colors and the only reason why I feel like it's great to use the colors always is because sometimes people do mistakes and their grip is a little bit uneven and if it's a little bit uneven and the weight starts to slide off in the middle of a set. Let's say if the whole, all the weights on the right hand side go off while deadlifting, you will most likely tear a bicep or do something worse to your body. So, color is very important. Oh Thor, why are you guys, why are you giving us this tip? We know this. But some of you guys might sometimes forget. That's why, that's why. <laughs> Tip number five. Before pulling the bar from the floor, I see a lot of people having their shoulders uh, over the bar and Whenever you're about to pull the bar from the floor and your shoulders over the bar, you want to stop. You want to correct yourself. You want to basically, how I'm going to explain this well enough so you guys understand. I'll tell you my best. So, you get yourself in a position. I like to, for example, I like to roll the bar to me. It's not for everyone, some people might not like it, you don't have to do it if you don't like it. But I like to roll the bar to me. It helps me to get myself into the perfect position. It helps me to push my hips down, it helps me to get my back in the right position, my shoulders uh, above or even a little bit behind the bar. Uh, because if you, if the shoulders, if your shoulder is up, above the bar uh, then you won't be able to deadlift as much uh, and the technique will be all awful so let's let's begin so if you stand on the side you can see i'm just going to show you guys i'm not going to pull i'm not going to lift it you grab the bar i like to push it away from me this is the wrong technique let's say about Get it to me here, I'll go down, let's say about that from this position here. This here will be wrong, 
the shoulders are over the bar and my glutes, my ass is way too high and it would be, I probably would, couldn't lift this weight like this. So, let's start again. I like to get the bar away from me. I like to shake my ass a little bit, shake it here. Then, get yourself into the position, push it down, push it down, bar close, bar, close, bar touching the seat here. And from this position, look, shoulders are over, here, I press my ass down, shoulder blades together, so my chest out, here, and from this position here, instead of pushing upwards, I almost push a little bit backwards. Try that. That's how you should deadlift. Yeah, five tips. Uh, I'm gonna put some more weight on it. This is, by, by the way guys, I haven't deadlifted in three months. I decided to take some break from that deadlifting. And this is my first deadlift session. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put 300 kilo, kilograms on the bar. Obviously, if, you, if, you, if you're not deadlifting and you're doing a shit ton of cardio all the fucking time, your strength will decrease a shit ton. But if I would start eating, eating more and and training deadlift once a week, it will fly up again. All right guys, I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. You guys, what's on the side to see the correct uh, positioning. Uh, you'll see that everything is perfect. This is tip number five. Tip number six. Always you think you need to fart, fart before so you don't shit yourself. Okay. Tip number seven, uh, breathing is super important, guys. Um, you can see that before my lifts, I get myself into the position, um, and I'm focusing a lot on my breathing. Before I pull, take all the oxygen into my lungs, then I deadlift. Breathing is the key. Before I did my 501, I made sure this door there was open so we get fresh oxygen in the room and then I would focus on the breathing a lot between my sets. Like breathing is super important guys. You need to get the oxygen in your muscles. Think about your breathing guys. And just like do breathing exercises. I like to think about my breathing a few times a day. That can help a lot as well. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this deadlift tutorial. Quick and easy. Um, gave you guys a few tips. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you didn't, didn't huh? um, that just means that you guys are already champions. Congratulations. If you did, and that's great also because we're all here trying to learn, get better each and every day. Myself also. I'm always learning each and every day, trying to get better each and every day. Thank you guys once again for tuning to my channel, for always tuning in, for showing me some love and love. Uh, make sure you leave a comment, comment below if you guys have any uh, questions, uh, I might answer a few of you guys. And make sure you like the video, make sure you guys subscribe. Love you guys, take care.